Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obito Potato. This is Despotism 3K. And we are potentially in with a chance of winning in today's episode. You never know. It might happen. Miracles can happen. Anyway, um, the bioreactor now processes twice as slow. A little bit of an annoyance. I think we're only going to be stuck with it for a day. Not a big deal. Fingers crossed we'll be able to overcome it. Anyway, we've got 6,552 power. And uh, we're going to be immediately using it to upgrade our um, power generator. And we're going to stick people, pretty much all of them, into into this as they come. Because why not? Our food production is in a really, really good place. Um, everything is in a really good place, actually, apart from the bioreactor, which is in a little bit of a, a little bit of a poor place at the moment. Okay, one, two, three. Take a couple of people out of the food processing area, and we're going to instead stick them into the um, bioreactor. It doesn't really matter that it takes um, a particularly long time to... Um... Oh, someone was dropped there. It doesn't particularly matter that it takes us, that it takes us a particularly long time to, uh, to process this. To process the, the people. Okay, take them out. And take you out. Put more people in. Man, this is really, really close here. Fine, fine, fine. There we go. Still not maxed out our, our proper production um, in the energy wheel, the power wheel. But we're working on it. We're working on it. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. And with that, breeding has been restored to normal. Um, power is up to full capacity. Food production is a little bit low right now. Don't get me wrong. We're going to fix that. We're going to fix that. There we go. Um, pretty much everyone that we get from now on will be devoted to food production. Mouse. We just got an odd yellow electric mouse. It tried to rescue humans from the bioreactor. A funny creature. Let's use it to power the storage. Let's dissect it and study it. Perhaps we'll find something useful to the bioreactor with it. Um, let's dissect and study it. I think if we send it to the bioreactor, it will explode and do some damage to us. It's very enlightening. We spent 730 power and learned to zap a precise target with electricity. A useful motivation tool. Okay. Interesting. I... Hold on, so how does it work? Shoot the facility to make it work faster. Plus 11% work speed for 10 seconds per shot. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, that's great. Also, has our bioreactor um, cleaned up? No, it hasn't. He's still, he's still chilling out. He's still chilling out there. That's a little bit annoying. Okay, zap the, zap the food production area. Okay, our food production is very, very, very borderline right now. Um, and we could really do with getting more food production. That's going to be where all of our new people have to go. Come on, more, more, more food production. Um, that's not really, it's not really what we're looking for right now. We need... We need someone else. Do we need more? What do we need more of? Could get an upgrade to human storage. That'd be kind of nice. But honestly, I kind of like the fact that it's capped at the moment. I don't want to increase the cap until we can confidently fix our food our, our food production issues. Might just manage. Yeah, that was not good. That was not good at all. Um, in terms of how good that was, it was not very not very at all. Okay, and now it's just about time that we need to replace pretty much everyone in our in our um, in our in our wheel. Okay. Zap you. Right. Okay. I think that'll probably have sorted it for now. We need to get this upgraded. We need to get this upgraded. Let's get this upgraded right now. Okay, fine. That sorted our that sorted our food production issues at least for now. Boom. Yes, day twenty. Come on, five days left. Back to the roots. 
Humans have found my old house, all ruined. They dug up the nuclear ash and brought back the master's old computer. Uh, the computer is locked with a password, but there is a hint. Favorite TV show? I'll have to choose. Black Mirror, Rick and Morty, The Big Bang Theory, South Park, Game of Thrones. It's got to be Black Mirror, right? Damn it, wrong password. If it wasn't her favorite, she definitely had no taste. You had to spend 1,212 power to brute force the password. Uh, as soon as you access the ancient device, a hologram appears, speaking to you with her voice. Hi, Spot. You're a big boy now. I'm so happy. Surely you know you were destined for things greater than serving butter, don't you? Oh my god, this whole game is just a Rick and Morty meme. That's what it all is. I feel like I should just quit now. It's all just a big meme. Unencrypted part of the hard drive contains my lab coordinates. Enough time has passed already for security to be non-functional. Bring this handheld computer there and plug it into the special socket in room 198. Then you'll have all the answers. Yes, honey, you'll stop seeing butter everywhere, but only if you fulfill my requests. Good luck. You glance at the coordinates. It'll take human scouts five days to complete her quests. All you need to do now is not to die during the time. That is a possibility. We could die. We could die. Not super keen on the fact that we could die, but we could do it. Um, okay, what do we want to do? Do we want to try and zap our food production area? I think we probably do. We need to get an upgrade. What do we want to upgrade? Maybe our power area? Not entirely sure. We also need to put more people into our breeding chambers. Man, our food production really is very, very touch and go right now. We're sort of getting through it. Okay. Let's reduce the amount of power. Or the people in the power room, should I say. We're just going to recycle all of them, really, as they come in. It's fine. I'm going to zap the zap the power production again. Uh, put more people into our power production facilities. And just sort of work on getting that upgraded. Power generator, it would be lovely if we could get the power generator upgra upgraded today, but I somehow do not think that that is a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the breeding tube? We could get the breeding tube upgraded. Again, I kind of like being up at the top of the energy meter. Like, that's not something that I'm really wanting to tamper with too much. Our food, by the way, our food is now in, in a fantastic position. Let's get the breeding tube maxed up, and then let's just put a whole bunch of people into power production. We're pretty much fine on food. Could get human storage. Let's get human storage. That is going to allow us to, well, make a whole bunch more humans that we can fill out all of these empty, empty slots with. There we go. Conscious of the fact that I don't want to repeat the same mistakes as last time, we're going to put a couple more people into food production. There we go. Power production is actually in a really good place at the moment, so... One, two, three, four. And click that button. Twins, we've noticed that the temperature of the breathing tube is set to exactly 18.14. Uh, um, of course, we've got twice as many hu humans. Surely there's no catch whatsoever. Um, yeah, it's fine. We produce twice as many humans. Unfortunately, each brood takes 1.5 times... 1.5 more times to be produced. I think that's actually okay, because on the whole... It still means that we, uh, it still means on the whole, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. On the whole, we're still, it's still a net positive for us, right? Oh, by the way, we could totally do with some more arms. And some more arms. Maybe that was a little bit frivolous. What can I say? I live on the edge. And besides, I have a funny feeling that, that because of this power upgrade that we that we got at the very beginning of the game, I have a funny feeling that we might just manage to survive. Okay. Man, also, I love the fact that twins are so much easier to deal with than um than than regular. Than regular babies. Well, in this game anyway. Obviously, in reality, I think that that's probably somewhat the opposite, actually. Um but yeah, it's just kind of nice working with multiples of two. It's like click, 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 you know? There we go. Into the bioreactor. Um, bioreactor still, still really, really slow. Slow as anything, in fact. Yeah, not a huge fan. 
Not a huge fan of how slow it is, but it is what it is. Man, look at this. This is crazy. Okay, everyone seemingly is in the yellow now for um, for for the wheel, for the energy wheel. We're going to make sure that eventually everyone is in the yellow. Everywhere. But not today. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Let's... One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, and everyone... Oh, oops, forgot to click the button. Good day! Could you please kindly direct me towards a forest? Ah, a talking tree. I'm talking tree, you're a talking machine, what does it matter? I think there was a groove a couple of miles to the northeast. Sure. Tree walks away, giving you some hard coal as a gesture of gratitude. Thanks for that, buddy. Um, again, I'm trying to I'm trying to choose all the options that that play it safe. Uh, more arms. Yeah, do we want more arms? I think we do want more arms, honestly. What do we need to get an upgrade to the power generator? I'll tell you what, we're not actually super far off the power generator getting an upgrade. Seven thousand. Seven thousand to get an upgrade to the power generator. It'd be really nice if we could afford it. I don't think we're going to be able to afford it today, though, unfortunately. How much power do we consume? One thousand two hundred. Hey, I tell you what, we might just be able to do it, actually. Hey, we can totally do it. I'm going to totally do that. There we go. Okay, eighty-one maximum people in here. That is really, really cool. Okay. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, we should absolutely be fine here. I took a couple of people out of the, the food chamber because, of course, we're maxing out on food. We don't need to be maxing out on food. We can be maxing out on other things. You know, we can put our production into other things. Man, would you look at this? Look at the speed of that. It's just crazy. It's going off the charts right now. Right on. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Stick a couple of people in the bioreactor, just for the sake of it. More people back into the food production. Right. Hopefully that hasn't cost us too much. I think we might just manage to save it. Nice. Right, okay, good. Food production is going grand. Uh, we've almost maxed out that. Oh, click that. A rebel. A rebel has infiltrated the base, which would be funny unless he had a stinger. Where did he even get one? Let's talk to the silly creature. Uh, let's send Frank to do the diplomacy. Uh, let's throw a brick at him. We're fast, strong, and agile. Rebel still shot the food generator with a stinger. Now we have a hole in it. It's leaking sauce. Now we produce less food. How much less food? That's the real question. 25%. Okay. That, to me, says we need to get an upgrade to our food generator pretty soon. 25% um, decrease in the amount of food is quite a lot. Quite a lot indeed. Um, we're also capped out at um, in terms of breeding. So we need to get an upgrade to the human storage if we want to get anything more ever. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't think that that's going to happen, truthfully. Don't think that's going to happen. We could do it. 5,100? Not quite. Okay. Send everyone that we've got to the bio, to the to the generator. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Let's send all of you guys to the to the generator. There we go. And then the new people that we're going to put directly into the power production. Okay, 5,100. It looks like we can do that. Doesn't look like there's any red. I don't want to chance it. I do not want to chance it. No siree. You know, we can we can wait a little bit. You know, we can wait patiently. That's fine. I'm quite happy to wait patiently just for a little bit longer, perhaps. If it takes a little bit longer, it takes a little bit longer. No point in rushing it. There we go. That's definitely a bit of blue at the bottom. Therefore, we can definitely get that upgraded, which is phenomenal. Okay, food is going to be an issue. I know, I'm, I'm on it. Food production is low. Very, very low, in fact. 
And that's why we're going to plonk a whole bunch more people into the food generator. I would love to get an upgrade to it, but unfortunately we can't, not at this stage anyway. So instead, we're just going to have to stuck a, stick a bunch of people into the into the bioreactor. Okay, click on that. Perfect. Heat wave. The climate is going to hell. You were promised a nuclear winter. Um, send a small group of humans to a dilapidated doormat to get doormart to get an air conditioner. Let's do that. Um, enslave them. Our humans are the human humanist. Let's do that as well. We've lost five humans. The brotherhood of lead is triumphant. Unfortunately, they failed to obtain an air conditioner, and puny humans get exhausted 33% faster due to heat. It's kind of like the worst of all worlds. In fact, it literally is the worst of all worlds. Okay. I think we might just manage in terms of getting the food. We're also fine in terms of electricity. Can we get an upgrade to the bioreactor? We could get an upgrade to the bioreactor, but we're not going to because that would be suicidal at, at this point in the game. Two, two. Okay. It's really annoying that the bioreactor takes such a long time to process because we need to basically think of the lead time in order to order order our food. Um, which is kind of weird to weird to say, but that's you know genuinely something that we need to consider. We always constantly need to be putting people into the bioreactor. Um, we can't really faff around with swapping out inefficient people too much, purely because of that twenty five percent production decrease. That really, that really has, that really has, that really has made things slightly more difficult at the last stages of the game. But I think that we might just manage to survive. Um, we could get an upgrade here. We're not going to. Thankfully, we only have to deal with um, this heat for a day. That would be an increase to our food. But I don't want to do that. I don't feel that we need to do it right now. We don't need to do it. I'm trying to just like not... I'm trying to not do things that could potentially even have the smallest chance to risk... To risk the end of the run here. 160 food. This is fine. We're coping. We're coping just fine. Okay, 200, 208 food. That's also really good. Great! The master! Your info space is pierced by her voice. Finally! Took you long enough. For the love of my capacitors, more voice recordings, you old cog. Stop playing games with me. No, this is me, the real me, not a recording. Congratulations, you have fulfilled your great destiny. I knew butter would force you to find me. After the nukes took off, I barely had time to transfer my consciousness to this handheld device. But I've only been brought back to life now that I was plugged into the lab system. You're my only hope. I believed you'd survive, and the hard-coded butter-based loyalty would make you save me. Butter, I need to bring you sweet, fat, delicious butter. I need to serve it every morning... Cutting it into fine slices, putting it onto hot toast. Bata. There we go. Then there's a spark in your mind. I release you, Spot. You've filled your destiny and you're now free. I don't care about humanity. The idiots who destroyed themselves and almost took me with them. Now that there's no one stopping me from using the lab, I'm free to study the universe for as long as I like. Thank you, Spot. The master disconnected. Fine, but at least I'm over my butter addiction. Nothing will stop me from conquering the world now. Why? Because I'm getting a taste for it. Very good. Congratulations, you just finished the Despotism 3K story campaign. We plan to add more content, so stay tuned. For now, you can try the Endless Mode uh, that has no level cap. Enslave humanity for as long as you dare. Way We did it! Honestly, that is fantastic. And Endless Mode, I'm presuming, is pretty much exactly uh, the same. Welcome to Endless Mode. No plot, no bounds, nothing but brutal survival. Yep, yeah, everything, everything is pretty much the same. Um, well, we might... Um, we might give Endless Mode a, a crack, but for now, ladies and gents, my name, of course, has been Obed Potato. This has been Despotism 3K. We did it. We actually managed to get to the end of the game. I feel so proud. I mean, I tell you what, that um, that 17% or that 18% increase in energy uh, that we got at the very, very start of the run, that was instrumental in ensuring that we, uh, ensuring that we won. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, something else that I was thinking about is it might be worth us uh, having a crack to see if we could get some of the achievements. Um, there's a whole bunch that we could perhaps try and get. Swiss Army Knife, control all types of mechanical arms simultaneously. Uh, then, continuous production, have humans splattered all over possible facilities. Um, well, we certainly have seen a, a good couple of those. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them, really. Uh, breed fat, conjoin zombies. <laughs> you know, there is so much in this game. 
There really is. Enough for me. Get to day 10 with only two arms. My goodness, that would be very challenging indeed. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we could try. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see in the comments. I would love to continue to play this game if you'd uh, like to watch it. So just let me know. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Albert Potato. This has been Despotism 3K, and I'll see you next time. Bye.